So today I'm talking about a P0713 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0713 code? Well, it's a transmission fluid temperature sensor, a circuit high. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern transmissions have a lot of sensors built into them. And one of these sensors is called the transmission temperature sensor. So that's just reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the fluid inside the transmission is. But when you get this P0713 code, the computer's seeing that there's high voltage on this circuit for some reason, or it's staying higher than it should be for longer than it should be. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0713 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad transmission fluid temperature sensor. It might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. These transmission fluid temperature sensors are what's called a thermistor, which is a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. So if you have a multimeter, you can't go and test that sensor. You will have to look up that particular vehicle and that particular sensor and get the rated resistance values at a set temperature. Since there will be differences between vehicles and temperature sensors, for example, right here at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, this temperature sensor should be reading 8.1 ohms. And if it's not, if it was outside of this or lower than this, then you would know it was bad, you know it needs to be replaced. So if you have a multimeter, you can't test these sensors. The location of these sensors can really vary. Sometimes they're located up inside of the transmission, and then other times they could be located on the outside of the transmission. So it will vary, it will depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the manufacturer, things along these lines. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad transmission fluid temperature sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. Basically, there's any kind of issue, there's like an open or there's a short, a bad connection, something like this, then that's gonna cause problems. So if you can get wiring schematics for that particular vehicle, you can't go and check those wires and be sure that there's no open or short or anything like this, because the next thing that's gonna cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the next thing that could cause is that there's been some kind of transmission failure. There's like some kind of issue going on with the transmission itself, like a bad valve body or possibly like low fluid or really dirty fluid or something like that. Even though this P0713 code is pointing more towards a circuit issue or like a wiring issue or a bad transmission fluid temperature sensor, it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with that transmission and that's causing the fluid temperature to be high, which the computer might read as that circuit getting high input. Usually if there is some kind of issue going on with the transmission, you'll be getting a lot of other codes. You'll be getting like solenoid codes or transmission fluid pressure codes and things along those lines. But if you're only getting this P0713 code, then very likely it is just some kind of wiring issue or a bad fluid temperature sensor. But if you are getting a lot of other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of transmission problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of problem with the computer, like the powertrain control module or the transmission control module or something like that. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get this P0713 code, it is going to be something else. But it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer. Although again, usually you'd be getting a lot of their codes. Usually when a computer goes bad, you just don't get one code. So while that is possible, usually when one of these computers go bad, you'd be getting a lot of other codes. Also, if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure that your battery's good. Be sure the alternator's charging correctly. Because all these computers, they all need a good, stable power supply, or that can throw them off and cause them to have errors and things like that. But the last thing on the list is going to be a faulty computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0713 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.